Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anastasia. I'm a luxury handbag lover, a Louis Vuitton authenticator, and I own a consignment store which has a lot of beautiful handbags like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, YSL, etc. Everything you can think of. Uh, here's the link below. You can check it out if you're interested. I often do uh, video comparisons of luxury bags, but here is a very personal review because I was personally very interested in this bag. So those who follow my channel, you know that I've had this bag for a year and that's one of my most used handbags. That's Louis Vuitton Sachet Petit. And uh, I have a separate video on the wear and tear just in case you're interested in purchasing this particular bag and looking for hints. Uh, but today I wanted to compare this bag to another handbag I just got in stock, which is very, very similar. And that's YSL College bag. I was personally really interested in this bag because, well, I was wondering uh, how is it similar to Pochette Mede's? What are the differences? And well, maybe as Louis Vuitton quality has been going down over the recent years, I've been thinking about switching to another brand and I've considered Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, my friend told me a lot about this bag. She's a huge fan uh, of this style, particularly of the college in Saint Laurent in general. And I really wanted to check it out. So this video will have three parts. In the first part, if you're looking to purchase this bag and need some encouragement, I'll give you three reasons you should definitely buy this item. In the second part, I'll uh, well make a, a review of a typical wear and tear for Yves Saint Laurent College bag, what you may expect if you purchase this item and what it will look um, well in, in several months of wear. And in the third part, we'll compare Yves Saint Laurent with Pesha Pochette Matisse and we'll see the differences and uh, there will be a thorough size comparison and my uh, thoughts on both bags. Let's start! All right, let's start with the three reasons to buy this bag and never let it go. I actually bought it to resell, but then I realized that I just can't let it go. And here's are my thoughts. First of all, this Yves Saint Laurent College is more durable than it seems. I'm not a fan of the leather and I don't baby my bags and I don't like bags that need to be babied like Chanel lambskin or lambskin in general. And what I expected from this bag is, well, this high quality but still not very durable leather that will not hold its shape basically, well, as good as Pochette Medis and well uh, that will have scratches on it and different kind of wear i i just don't like this type of bags what i realized when i got it into my hands is that this leather is pretty durable it's it's not like chanel caviar and it's not as durable as uh, louis vuitton canvas or even louis vuitton uh, unpunk leather however it's more durable than i thought it is and that was enough for me. Second reason to purchase it is its timeless design. And uh, I guess you'll agree with me that, uh, well, you can dress it up or down and based on your outfit, well, it's just any outfit basically. And it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where, where are you going to. You can style this bag and make it really nice with any outfit. And that's what I love about YSL College. And the third reason to buy it is it keeps its value pretty good, especially for YSL bags. Because I often hear an opinion that YSL bags uh, lose their value um, and they don't keep it. However, I'd love to disagree with that, especially when it comes to college, because that's one of the most popular YSL handbags and uh, a lot of people are asking for it. A lot of people are looking for this bag. And I guess, uh, well, even if you are not in love with it anymore after a year or two, you can sell it at a pretty good price. Well, it will be higher than 50% of its retail price. And well, to me, it's a pretty good resale value. If you already have this bag, I'd love to hear your opinion on, on it. And uh, what are your reasons to purchasing this bag? Do you love it or not? 
and uh, well, do you agree with the points that I mentioned? Now, moving on to the second part, I'd love to talk about wear and tear on this bag. So, uh, first of all, this bag is less durable than Pochette Matisse and we'll talk more about that in the third part of the video but uh, what I'd love to share with you is that you need to be prepared that it will show some wear especially on these corners on the corners of the flap and here on the pocket and I guess you will have some wear uh, showing there in, in a month or two. Well, that, of course, that depends on how often you wear this bag. But if you wear it daily, then I guess uh, you will see some signs of wear, mild signs of wear in, in a month or two. You need to be prepared. That's, it's actually quite easy to fix that, especially if your bag's color is dark uh, I mean if it's black you can just go to a nearby cobbler and they will have to paint this uh, corners of the flap or here well the bag will look fantastic overall but uh here is some wear and tear that you will face eventually I haven't heard about this bag having uh, some kind of serious issues like leather breaking stitching breaking hardware breaking right so it's a uh, pretty high quality and well when when you see it in person of course you are in love with the leather you're in love with the stitching you're in love with the quality uh, and the chain I I just adore it and I highly recommend it to you. Let's move on to the detailed comparison between Yves Saint Laurent College and Pochette Métis. And now the first thing we see here, it's a medium bag by the way, and uh, the first thing we see here is that Pochette Métis is a little larger. Well, it's not actually a little, it's larger, the college bag. Well, all of my belongings, this is my main bag that I use daily and all of my belongings fit in here perfectly. Uh, I usually wear a full-sized wallet, a key holder, and uh, well, some kind of very minor accessories. Now, moving on to a detailed comparison between Louis Vuitton Pochette Métisse and Yves Saint Laurent College bag. It's a medium, by the way, so you can find a larger version, of course, if you need it. But uh, if we compare medium version to uh, Pochette Métis, we see that Pochette Métis is a little larger. It has more compartments inside. And uh, let me show you what it fits. Now, the items I have with myself daily are my wallet, my key holder, and my case for <laughs> teeth aligners. Well, maybe some kind of accessories or uh, makeup, but that's the minimal um, set that I need daily. As you can see, it fits perfectly. And uh, it also has some space here, so I can still put something inside if I need it. Um, there are some additional space. Now let's try to put all these things into college bag. Now let's start with the wallet. It fits good here. That's a full-sized wallet. So YSL College Bag does fit a full-sized wallet. Now, case for teeth aligners. Um, and a key holder that I'm putting inside. It does fit these items, but they sit a little tight inside, much tighter than with a Pochette Medis. And you can see that there's almost no space here. So that's the maximum volume that this bag can fit, which is good for me. However, I would love it to be a little larger because I love to have some extra space for small items in case I need it. Now, Pochette Medis has two large compartments here and one small compartment and also a pocket on the back. YSL has two large compartments, one zip pocket inside, a, which, which is also a divider between these compartments. There's also a small pocket here, but it, it's very small and it serves mostly to uh, keep the date code or serial number inside the bag. And uh, here's a pocket on the outside here too. However, I wouldn't say that these compartments have uh, the same amount of space. 
This one is a little smaller and well, this is a large compartment for the wallet, but this type of wallet cannot fit here. I, I don't think it's a good idea. It, it will break the, the shape of the bag from the back. This YSL strap cannot be adjusted, but uh, I don't think that's a huge disadvantage because I think that strap will, will fit nice both uh, on a petite person and on a tall person. That's what it looks like on me. It looks very nice. Now, if you're still unsure which bag to get, here's an important thing, and it's leather durability. The leather on Pochette Métis, the Louis Vuitton Emprunt leather, is much more durable than YSL leather. And I do love them both, and I adore the shape, I adore this color, which is it's so nice. I've had this Pochette Métis for more than a year, and it looks exactly the same as it was a year ago. I mean, maybe, just maybe, because I don't remember that, maybe there's a little fading of the print, which is absolutely okay with me, because I've had so many bags. And I can tell you how many times uh, I purchased a bag, it looked like new, then I take it out one or two or three times, and then the corners are scratched, and, and it already has some signs of wear. No scratches at all on Pochette Métisse. Not at all, not anywhere, not here, not here. The leather is very nice. And it looks perfect, actually. If I had to choose between Pochette Métis in Ampong and uh, Yves Saint Laurent uh, College, then I'd still go for Pochette Métis. Just because of the durability, nothing more. This style is the same. And I actually love this strap much more than I love the uh, strap of the Pochette Métis. However, durability means a lot to me. And a second thing that I always take into account before buying any handbag from the store, and for love too, uh, well, that's resale value. And the resale value of Pochette Medis is very good too, actually. You cannot complain. If you buy a canvas Pochette Medis, you can resell it even at a higher price. If you buy an Emprunt Pochette Medis, you won't lose much. It will be more than 50% of the original retail price, which is quite good which is nice, depending on the wear, of course, and depending on the color, which is also important. So that would be my choice, but uh, I have an opportunity to keep them both just to uh, switch between uh, two types of hardware. Well, that's about it. I hope it was useful. And if you have a request for me to review um, several handbags, especially if I have them in stock, please leave this request below and I'll try to make a video comparison of these bags for you to be able to make the informed choice. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel to get new bag reviews and authentication tips every week. Thank you for watching. Bye.